Okay, you click the link, you know why we're here. Let's get into it. So you wanna use aces and redshift. I don't know much about color spaces, but I do know what buttons to push. So first thing, we're gonna to go to our render settings and I've got my setting here and I'm gonna create a new child. This isn't necessary, but it helps keep things organized. I'll call this our aces. So in our aces color management, we're gonna switch this over to advanced, then go to our globals tab. And then down here, we're gonna switch our view from aces to raw. And then we're gonna check compensate for view transform is off. And then in our render settings, we're just gonna go up to our save. We're gonna go from PNG to open EXR. And we're gonna open this up, make sure that you use 16 bit floats is on and you're working at 32 bits per channel. Hit control D to open up your project settings over here. And we're gonna to go to our color management and switch our color management from basic to open color IO. And then once you do that, go to convert to OCIO and everything at default should be fine. Hit okay. Basically what that's gonna do is it's gonna go through all your materials and just automatically adjust the gamma inside them to be compatible with OCIO. I haven't seen much difference in renders with this, but it might be necessary for you, so doesn't hurt. Something important to keep in mind is your render space setting here by default is aces SG. We're gonna to wanna to remember that later. All right, that took a few minutes, but once all your materials are done converting, just go ahead and hit the render. So the render finished and it looks terrible, but that's okay, we're gonna fix it later. Go ahead and open up After Effects. So if you're running After Effects 2023, they made this a lot simpler, but it's still a few steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and import our render. This is our aces here. And if I were to open this up now, See, it's completely wrong. That's okay. So uh, to fix this, we go to our 32 bits per channel down here and go to color and we're gonna switch from Adobe color managed to OCIO color managed and default should be fine. If I hit okay, it's looking a lot better. Um, and another thing to note, remember that profile we looked at in Cinema 4D that was Aces SG? Here is the default for After Effects. It's reading it as 206-1. I'm not sure what the difference is between these two, but I do know that your ACES uh, profile needs to match throughout your entire pipeline. So to change this, I'm gonna right click on this, interpret footage, main color, and then there it is, the default 206-1. We want ACES CG, and hit okay. Great, I'm gonna bring this into a comp and now it should be working. So as we all know, aces you can mess with the exposure and it feel, has a much more natural progression and it keeps a lot more detail in the highlights and shadows now i could tweak this all day but that's not important right now what is important though is if i were to export you would think this would be done but this would look completely wrong and you might end up with something that looks a little bit like this where the gamma is just completely off and that's because the export settings by default are not giving you the right color output so i'm gonna go up to composition we're gonna do save frame as I'm gonna change it from Photoshop to, we'll say PNG, doesn't matter that much, and go to color, and here it is. Change our output color space from ACES. We're gonna want sRGB D60 SIM. Now, I've tried some of these other color spaces like sRGB and Rec. 709, but I found that this sRGB D60 SIM, just through trial and error, gave me the image that looks the closest to what I see in my After Effects viewport. So I'm gonna go with that. If anyone knows something better about this, please leave a comment. Um, I'm gonna hit okay. And now if I render this, and so there you go, you end up with something that you know pretty much matches the original image. So yeah, that's all for now. If anyone knows more about color spaces and whether or not I did something wrong, or if there's anything to make this better, please leave a comment or let me know. I've just wanted to make this tutorial because I've had to look up how to do aces a dozen times and everything I've seen is like, you know, 15, 20 minutes long. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helps somebody.